it didn't take long for our cameras to capture folks skipping out on their metro fares. In just 20 minutes, we spotted 26 people hopping the turnstile at the West Hyattsville station. It makes me wonder, like, why am I paying? You know, I also have, you know, I have to pay the same fares for the same low quality service. Why shouldn't why shouldn't I jump to? We place cameras at three stations representing all lines throughout the DMV. Based on what we gathered, Courthouse in Arlington sees an average of eight jumpers an hour and about three an hour at Van Ness UDC. There is no such thing as free. There are ways to do fare free. And if a region decides to do that, then the region can do that. But there's nothing free. We need the revenue to run the service, and the service is critical for people in this community. Metro GM Randy Clark says fare evasion doesn't add up to all of Metro's financial troubles, but it does account for $40 million in lost revenue in 2022. He says in November, transit police will begin with warnings and then fines. Up to $100 in Maryland and Virginia, where fare evasion is already a crime, 50 bucks in D.C. where the council made it a civil penalty. This is a respect campaign too. But advocates say the last time Metro cracked down on fare evasion, it was more than disrespectful. That um, enforcement effort had a profoundly discriminatory effect on people of color. The Washington Lawyers Committee conducted this study in 2018 that found 91% of the people cited were black, 46% young men under 25 years old. And fare evasion wasn't targeted throughout the entire system. It was really targeted at those neighbor, at, at those metro stops where um, you saw a congregation of young people of color. How do you ensure that enforcement of fair evasion will be equitable and, and won't target the same communities at the same metro stations. I expect our police department to follow the highest standards and treat every member of the community with respect and follow the law. I would ask all of our customers and community members to respect police and the difficult role they have as well, right? Metro is looking to modify the new turnstiles to make it more difficult to skip the fare. In Hyattsville, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.